On today's episode, just a recipe to spice up your weekly menu. Delicious veggie, laksa. Le homa, that's how you're going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Today we're making one of my favorite noodle soup recipes, a delicious laksa, which by the way is not the only way of making it, it's just one way of making it. Let's begin. Bring a part of water to boil for the noodles. Slice about a third of an Asian eggplant into quarters. Scoop out some extra firm tofu using a melon baller. This is really just novelty. You don't have to make it into this shape. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Drizzle of avocado oil. Eggplant and three broccolini. Saute for two to three minutes. Set aside. These are thick rice noodles, which would be perfect for this recipe. These are also called Yunnan rice noodles, and the package actually says to cook it for eight minutes, but for some odd reason, after eight minutes, they're definitely not cooked, nowhere near it. You have to cook these ones for, I would say, about 11 to 12 minutes, but just test them while you cook. About 150 grams thick rice noodles. Stir the noodles occasionally to keep them from sticking. This is Thai curry paste. Now this one is actually store-bought just for today's episode, but if you feel adventurous and want to make your own from scratch, we've done that in a previous episode and I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out. Saute pan. I'm just using a saute pan because I'm just making enough for myself today, but if you like to multiply the recipe and use a stock pot, you can definitely do that. Medium heat. One tablespoon coconut oil. two tablespoons red curry paste. Now it is absolutely crucial that we saute the red Thai curry paste and not just dump it in the veggie broth and just kind of let it dissolve. Absolutely crucial to saute it. Saute for four to five minutes. One tablespoon curry powder. Stir in the curry powder to combine. One cup coconut milk. Stir to combine. This is a delicious, really simple homemade veggie stock and I'll leave another link in the description box below where you can check this out, make this really easily at home as well. Two cups veggie stock. Add in the broccoli and eggplant. Three tofu puffs and the extra firm tofu. Give it a good stir, then cover and bring to a boil. By the way, this episode is actually a bit of a companion video to one of the recipes that's in the Cook with Confidence cookbook. If you'd like to find out more information or take a sneak peek inside this book or the ramen cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out, as well as our new Young Man Cooking merch. 
When the noodles are done, strain them out and place in the serving bowl. Depending if your veggie stock is salted, you may add some salt or soy sauce if desired. Pour the broth over the noodles. Assemble the toppings. Small handful bean sprouts. Sprinkle over some fresh cilantro. Now that is a work of art. You can now enjoy this comforting noodle dish with absolute confidence. It's definitely recipes like this that makes dinner time really exciting. That is so incredibly delicious. It is unreal. Firstly, I mean, the bowl literally looks like a beautiful sunset or something. It's absolutely visually stunning. And then you have these delicious noodles that has that bit of chewiness and that bit of a bite. And you have these other amazing contrasting textures. You get that crunchiness from the broccolini. You get the soft chewiness of the tofu and the tofu puffs, as well as the eggplant and the tofu puffs and the eggplant absorbs so much of that delicious broth. It really literally is an explosion of flavor when you bite into them. You get the crunchiness and the freshness of the bean sprouts. And they also add a little bit of that kind of cooling effect when you enjoy that with this delicious, hot, little bit of a spicy kind of broth. The reason why it's crucial to saute that curry paste, you get this delicious and visually stunning kind of separation in that oil in which you would not achieve if we just dissolved the red Thai curry paste in the liquid. Those noodles really absorb that delicious broth as well. The broth is so hearty and luscious. It's incredibly full body because of that coconut milk and the fatty and the creaminess from the coconuts. Then you get that kind of curry powder, spicy, aromatic kind of experience that adds an incredible, unique flavor to this dish. And then the fresh herbs, the cilantro, just adds that kind of freshness and even more aromatic flavor. I cannot get over how beautiful this looks visually. This really is turning your kitchen into a restaurant. It seriously looks like a painting that you can actually eat, which is absolutely amazing. I can definitely eat this every single day. To find out more information about those cookbooks, the Cook with Confidence cookbook or the Ramen cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check these out, as well as the Young Man Cooking merch. Of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.